Greetings from Portland, Oregon. It's a beautiful fall day here and we are just a few days past the 2024 presidential election and I just wanted to come on here and share some thoughts. I think it's safe to say that regardless of what side of the aisle you are on, nearly everyone in the country has some pretty big emotions about the results of this one, right? Some people out there are to the moon and excited and happy and feel victorious and are looking forward to the months and years ahead for themselves and for America. And then there are also others who genuinely feel scared, worried, defeated, ashamed, sad, even embarrassed, and maybe even feel unsafe. I don't fault you or criticize you for feeling either of those emotions. If you're watching this, I really don't care what your favorite color is. If you lean red or blue or purple or yellow or what have you, I'm not here to discuss politics and I will try to do my best to exclude any kind of political leanings or biases that I might have. I'm not also not not here to challenge one point of view or the other. I am here to acknowledge the fact that regardless of how you feel about these results, we have no choice but to move forward. And if you're happy about this election, congratulations. If you feel stuck in this moment, I wanna get some thoughts and options that might help you feel unstuck at some point. So stay tuned for this video. So in this current moment, I can't help but notice how especially huge and vast this country is. You know, we have 50 states all across the land. And honestly, the contrast between some of them now more than ever can feel like we have different countries rather than states within the USA. If you agree with me on that, do me a favor and hit the like button just so I can gauge my audience on this one. <laughs> You know, we exist in a world where there are people who can feel and believe one thing about an issue or a group of people even, and on the other side of the spectrum have people that believe or feel something completely different. And our justification for that type of discourse is, it's a free country, right? You can believe whatever you want to believe. That is what America has turned into. And for some, this is their definition of what the founding fathers had in mind. But for others, it's terrifying, especially based on whatever geographic location you might find yourself in. That aside, it really is, for the time being at least, a relatively free country. You know, you can roam freely across state lines, and you can go live anywhere you want, and there is a very diverse range of places that you can live. There's diverse climates, diverse populations, diverse landscapes, diverse attitudes, diverse politics, and diverse qualities of life. Now, with what I'm saying, I'm not trying to convince you of anything, but since I live here in the upper left-hand corner of America, I figured I, it would be nice to present this place as an option. Now, some of you probably call me biased because I am a real estate agent. And while yes, of course, if you happen to be moving to Oregon and are planning to buy a house, I would invite you to get in touch with me because I'd be happy to help with that. It wouldn't be a lie to say that people find these videos all the time from all over the country and the world and get in touch via call, text, email, or just booking video calls and enlisting me to help them buy their home here in Portland. And also, some of you may call me biased for talking about this, even as a resident of Portland in the first place. But honestly, am I really biased? As I mentioned before, this is a totally free country and I've seen a lot of different places all over this land and I freely choose Portland for many reasons that I'll share with you now. And the reason for sharing this stuff with you and the reason I make these videos all about what it's like to live in Portland isn't really to try to convince you of anything, like I said, but rather to hopefully open your eyes to new possibilities and provide insights and resources that you maybe weren't previously aware of so that you can be fully equipped and enabled to decide what's best for you. First of all, if it wasn't completely obvious, it's absolutely beautiful here. Honestly, it's one of the most beautiful parts of the entire United States, and I've been to many places. Most of you probably don't know this about me, but back in the day, I used to be a tour manager for a band, and that job took me all over the place from California to the New York Islands, from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream water. So I've seen this land that was supposedly made for you and me, and I've concluded that Portland is just a totally amazing place to be. There's stunning wilderness from the form of old growth rainforest, basically in all directions of the city, in and out of it. And speaking of in the city, it's just very quaint with charming businesses, walkable neighborhoods all over the place, classic early century architecture, bike lanes galore, and tons of incredible food, coffee, and breweries everywhere. The nature, if you couldn't tell, bleeds into the city with trees on just about every street and beautiful gardens that the people tend to. 
The pace of life here is pretty casual compared to other big cities, and it's relatively affordable compared to pretty much every other option as far as big cities go on the West Coast. But the attitude is very inclusive, and there is a distinct emphasis on individuality and unconditional acceptance regardless of race, attitude, gender, or any other individual defining traits. Compared to other places in the country, politically, you'll find that issues like climate change, social justice, urban development, and equality have the emphasis here in Portland. There's also a heavy emphasis on preserving healthcare, including abortion rights and the rights of women and transgender folks. And the state-provided medical care, OHP, tends to be quite good here if you're unable to afford private insurance. I don't know what is going to happen to the country as a whole in the coming months. I don't know what federal policies will be put into place that will change our day-to-day -day lives here in Portland and in all of Oregon, but as it currently stands, Oregon just tends to have a forward-thinking and open-minded mentality in many ways compared to other parts of the country from what I'm seeing. And if you are happy with where you live, then maybe you belong there. But maybe if you are feeling unseen or concerned or at worst, unsafe, like you could be in danger simply for being who you are. I would hope that nobody in the whole country feels that anywhere, but if you do, and you think it might have to do with your geographic location, there could be other options. Of course, I respect the fact that not everybody has the resources to just up and move. Maybe you have a situation that doesn't allow you to move, or maybe it's not in the cards for various reasons, and I understand that and feel for you. But if it is in the cards, Maybe leave a comment down below talking about what it is that's stopping you from coming to check it out over here. As I've said in this video already, this country is full of people who are looking forward to this new page in our country, but also there's people who are not. So if you're one of those people who are looking for a change, maybe that change could mean moving to a new spot or maybe not, I don't know. Just putting it out there and I'm here to provide you resources or a window into what everyday life looks like here in Portland. So if Portland is somewhere you're considering or even if it's not, maybe having information about this place is something that's valuable to you either way. If that's true, then luckily you are in the right place because I've made dozens and dozens of videos of what it's like to live here. You could take the next step by checking out this video next, which will get you started on that journey. Thanks for watching and hope to see you over there.